agenda is as follows. Um, review of minutes and corrections, matters arising out of the minutes. Uh, please take note, uh, there's uh, agenda item number three is the farmer's rep has a presentation on fertilizer. You can just add that. So agenda item number three will be the farmer's rep has a presentation on fertilizer. And then agenda item number four will be presentation of Charles Jow Memorial Academy, I assume by the chairperson of the board. Number five is a presentation on the new vehicle policy by the councillor of Ibo Town. Agenda item number six. Oh, yes, yeah, so agenda item number six, sorry, is what we move to agenda item number three. So that will come for. So we cancel agenda item five, which is fertilizer, the original agenda item five. So agenda item number six will be the KTEP project presentation by the project manager. Uh, agenda item number seven, motion on measure to recover land and buffer zone by the Latrikunda Sabiji Councilor. Then agenda item number eight, the committees of revenue, environment, sanitation, markets, and contracts will report. Agenda item number nine, AOB. It's quite a loaded agenda, but wherever we stop, we will have a follow-up general council before the month of December or in December. All right, the third one, guidance of the Deputy Director of Finance to produce the correct report demanded by the Council of Ibo Town on his motion on finance. Responsibility is the finance committee and, sorry, Clark, the responsibility is not the Ibo Town Council. It's the finance committee or the Director of Finance. Please correct that. Can you speak into your mic and towards the council? Yeah, the deputy director of finance worked on the matter, but he is not here today. He's, went, he's got a class or an exam or something like that. So I guess the next general council meeting will not be done. But when he prepared it, did he give it to you as the director? No, he did because the period that he's supposed to work on. I was speak, speak into the mic. Period that is in question, I was not here, and I will not be able to answer any question relating to those things. That's why he worked on it. He's oh. the one who is in a better position to answer any question regarding that. Okay, allow the finance committee chair. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Uh, I think uh, this was a uh, last general council, that was about a month ago. I think after the general council, after four or five days, we called for a meeting at the finance committee level where we iron out some of the uh, queries that uh, uh, the important councillor was asking for. All those things we have been ironed out, and then, and then we asked him the way he should prepare it. And according to him, he has done it. So since from that time, uh, we don't have a meeting with him, but we already ironed out what he's supposed to do, and then he said that he have already do the adjustments. So thank you. But doctor was not around, just like he mentioned. That time he was newly been handed over uh, his mantle as a finance director of KMC, and then he does not know much about it. Thank you. So I think as the finance committee chair responsible of oversight on the financial matters of the council, I think this responsibility should be shifted to your committee rather than individual directors. I think so you are the one who should be reporting on these matters. Because we cannot rely on uh, individuals, we have to rely on structures. Bakao. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Chairman and the Lord Mayor. Good morning, councillors. All right, I see rightly said, when this matter came up, because we know that it's an issue, because they had been, you know, reporting on this issue, the motion from the important councillors. You know, last time, when I, that's what I mentioned that, is the Finance Committee responsibility to report on any financial matter concerning about this case. So when we had a uh, committee meeting, we ironed out all the responsibilities, all the areas that the you know, councillor was mentioning, so that we can discuss among ourselves and see how best we can able to report it. Because the first report it was given, 
was not, you said that that was not a report, and he said he saw the report of that one. So that is why we had the finance committee meeting, and then we discussed over it. So next general council, I think, sir, let the responsibility shifted to the chairman to give the report. I think it will be proper, because I didn't mean that this guy is not here now. That is the deputy finance director. By now, the, the uh, finance committee chairman would have been giving the report to the general council. Thank you. Reporter. To be a policymaker and the same time administration, uh, sorry, administrator. I don't know whether you are not reading my motions or not. No committee. This is not the job of the committee. This is the job of the administrator. The CEO to cost the finance director. That is clear. There is nothing like the finance committee has an oversight function. This motion is the finance committee that should bring this motion to general council. But how can a, a, a policymaker caution, uh, 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 sorry, pass a motion and tell the CEO to cost the finance, the finance director on council financial expenditures? And now uh, committee want to take that responsibility. Where is the check and balance? So please, let's, 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 let's draw our lane and concentrate on our lane. This is not, not the committee issue. This is the responsibility of the administrator, the chief executive officer, who is the financial advisor to council, and the finance director. But if they want to save this, uh, 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 I would call it the motion to, to, how are you going to explain? They know the financial transaction, they know the dealings, everything, the expenditures. If they don't report it to you, you will not get it. So please, allow the administrators to do their job. How many general counsel? We told them to provide a report. They did not. And now the committee want to save, uh, uh, come on, that is, that is not your role. It's not in your lane. Concentrate in your lane. Telling things out. <laughs> Uh, the reason why the committee was involved, just like we understand your frustration, I think you raised this question since uh, about three or four months ago. So, and then the very first day the deputy finance director presented here, uh, you queried that it, he does not present it the way he is supposed to present it. So later on, we were attacked to go and work out things with him so that he can present it to, to the best of your liking. So that's why we were involved. And then I understand how you want him to present it. But for him, he does not understand. So that's why we call him at the committee level. We explain to him, this is how you should present it. And then he says that he would do it in the presence of my committee members. And then I'm sure he have done it. So thank you. We understand, not like we will come here to present, but we already saw him how he should present it to the best interest of you. Thank you. Bagao. Um, thank you very much. Um, I think, sir, maybe the council doesn't hear me right. All right. Any financial matter of the council also involve the committee. That's why we have the committee members. We are there to represent. But we also have an expert. That's why when this issue came up, the committee had to summon a meeting so that we can sit down and find out some of these problems. That's, you know, be your concern and the concern to the council. So, Finance Committee also, despite the fact that we are there to, you know, for the oversight function here and there, but Finance Committee also have right to present any financial dealing to the General Council. Whatever doubt came, you can ask the and the directors and the CEO can able to answer their questions. You see? But it doesn't mean that, you know, we are here to step in for, you know, either the management or the CEO, no. All right? That is why the Finance Committee chair called for a meeting so that we can sit down with our expert to, uh, to find out some of these problems that, you know, you have so much concern for. The report be given to the finance committee chair to represent it when the directors and the CEO are sitting down. And then any concern you have, then the CEO and the finance director or deputy director can able to answer their concerns. I think that's, that's very simple. Sir, you. Thank you so much for giving me the floor. Uh, as a finance committee member, uh, the reason our honorable chairman called for the meeting about the queries and the findings in the financial activity report between on the 1st of January to the 30th of June. I think this is a period that the honorable counselor for 
Ibo Town, New Jersey One Ward, is seeking to know how the expenditures and the income between the 1st of January to the 30th of June. And I think this report is very important, not only to him, but to the whole mem entire members of council. Because as far as uh, members are concerned, I think any financial dealings of council, it should be known to the members and the general public at large. Uh, I think our committee was there to guide the deputy director and to counsel him to make sure that any information he's bringing to council is correct. Okay, your worship in action point, uh, the last general council, it was, a question was raised to the director of admin about the stolen motorbike of council. And this is the council property. And then uh, it should be mentioned in the action points that he should come and brief members about how this motorbike was lost because it's a council property. This motorbike is provided to them so that they can easily access their destinations where they should receive their tax monies. Because unfortunately, if he reported the matter to the police and his line unit as the councillor of Talending South said, there is a rules of procedure. If something lost, he should directly report to the unit head he is under. So that's the action point, Director of Administration, for you to come and brief members today. It's part of the action point. <coughs> yeah, but... Kololi. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I didn't see it in the action point. That is not captured in the action point. Yes, it's what is said. That's what was said that he should report to the council about how this motorbike was lost and how we can recover it. Okay, let's, let's limit our arguments to the action point at hand. Okay. If you can all refer yourself to page 11 of the minutes, 5.10 or 5.9. It says, however, when the deputy director began reading his figures, the councillor raised a point of order and stated that since the director of finance was present, it was his duty to furnish the council with the required information. You go to 5.10. In response, the chairman said, since the motion was brought at a time the deputy director was in charge, he would suggest that they allow him to deal with the motion. This was accepted by members. 5.11, the deputy director continued to read his statement, but another point of order was raised by the councillor. 5.12, given the floor, the councillor said he was of the opinion that the figures being read were inaccurate. 5.13, the farmer's representative also point out that the figures under the EU grant were incorrect, as the amount should have been 30 million. She stated that the bank account imposed charges on the deposit, and that should not have occurred. 5.14. However, the chairman stated that the debate on this matter would be reserved for another day. He instructed the councillor to collaborate with the deputy director of finance and guide him on the information needed to produce the correct report. He also tasked the finance committee to assist the deputy director of finance in preparing this report. The agenda item on this matter was adjourned. I think this is how this came about. So he presented information that you were not satisfied with. So we ask that the uh, uh, committee guide him since he did not know what he was uh, presenting. Yes, back on
the manager. So the manager should tell us what they earn and what they spend and how they spend it. So I think uh, this is what the, the, the procedure asks. Yeah, so I, I, I also agree. I think also it should not be individualized. Um, even if the deputy director of finance is incapacitated or not here, it is an administrative function. Because many a times we see CEOs answering to parliament for the work of CEOs that are not around anymore. So you should not look at the council as, oh, I have to, if I do the presentation, then they are going to blame me. No. It's not about blame. It's not about individual. It's about the administration and what the administration is doing. If fault is found, then we can say who did it. But as far as the presentation, that's why I told the director of finance, just so you say I am not here, I was not there, that cannot save you from answering for it. Because the National Audit Office, when they come, they have to see you, the director of finance, for matters you were engaged or were not engaged in. When parliament calls us to FPAC, it is me, you, and the CEO go. Whether it was during a different CEO's time or not, it doesn't matter. It's not a witch hunt. It's not an investigation. It's you reporting on the financial affairs of the council. Now, if there is an adverse finding that requires investigation, that's when they reach now who is the individual who did it. <coughs> so when your director of finance deputy is preparing a report, I think you also have to be privy with the report, and you should be in a position to present that report. And if in case you are receiving the report and you are unsatisfied, then you should then talk to the committee about your dissatisfaction. The oversight body that, look, I am asking my guy for this, 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 but he's presenting things that I don't understand. So we cannot outsource responsibility just because we want to say we are not there. So I think this is the, the fact of the, the matter. Because today we did not know the deputy director will not be here. But in my opinion, that should not even matter. Whether the mayor is around, when the mayor is not around, the deputy mayor should answer for the mayor's office. When the uh, uh, deputy director of finance is not around, the, the director should, should, should be in a position to, to speak. Okay? So, director, let, let him come uh, now. Yeah, Lord, um, the deputy director just came to me last night. Let me have a Because he cannot attend the general council meeting. We are not hearing. Let's talk into the oh, mic. Sorry. And speak forward. You don't have to turn to me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, my deputy just came to me last night, last e late around 4 o'clock. He said he will not be able to attend general council meeting today and that he's, he's got a class or something like that. If he had known that beforehand, when he was working, he should have involved me or he should have brought whatever he worked on, explained to me what's going on. But uh, I was never briefed about it. I was assuming that according to last general council meeting, he was going to work on it and present it. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I think, one, I noticed something happening, mm. and is that the general council meet minutes are not being read. The agendas are not being reviewed. The action points and the responsibility given for every action is not being digested. Because today, Clark gave this. That's why they say this should be given four days, not so Clark, rules of procedure. Four days before a council. Your role, whoever you are, when you receive it, is to review it. Sometimes I even notice that the amendments and the corrections are done live in real time. You will be reading it and say, eh, eh, F man kenafi, li man kenafali. Whereas this should have been read four days ago, and then you should have put all your corrections. And rather than you doing it in real time, you say it. Same as directors. When well, these action points have been there. So when you read these action points, you being the head of the department, you should have summoned your junior and say, my brother, the action point is our department should present. Have you done it on yes or no? If you have not done it, work on it. If you've done it, let's review it together. So even if he calls you last night and say, I cannot make it, this hum human, he can be sick, Something can happen. You should be in a position to present on behalf of the department. If there's an error and a counselor says, man, a doctor, that looks funny there. You'll be like, well, I did not do it. It was them. I was not around. But it doesn't stop you from uh, presenting what yeah. is. So what I want us, let's work as an organization. Yeah. And, okay? Uh, yeah. The Lord, same, wait, wait. 
So the same I, goes also for the finance committee because here it says finance committee should guide the process. Okay. So the finance committee should have also asked the Department of Finance on this process whether it is exhausted or is not exhausted. Yes. And I you understand? And, they, and that's why we said that's the oversight. The council as the highest authority has required these documents. Though the council opposed the motion, it was voted on. And uh, uh, it was unanimously voted on. So then if it's voted that the uh, uh, department should do this, the finance committee should also exercise that oversight to make sure that they do it in the correct manner. So this is when an organization functions. But what we are seeing now is the dysfunction. Where now we want to individualize the report on the deputy director of finance. It cannot be because he alone cannot sign checks. It's countersign. He's not raising the invoices. The procurement is doing that. So it's an organizational function. Uh, Go ahead, doctor. I think the deputy director, because I talked to him, I reminded him yesterday in the afternoon, well, well before closing time, I say, your action points, I hope you are working on them. And he said, yes. He never told me that he's not going to... No, that's what I'm saying, until, doctor. You should have said, you should have said, you year. should have asked him to send you a report <laughs> I want to receive the report yeah. two days before general counsel as exactly. the head of the department. Yeah. But if you treat him like an isolated somebody or somebody yeah. who's working alone, then it means you guys are working in silos. Nimoy wala serif, nimoy wala doctor. You know, tell him so. Yeah, the truth is, <clears throat> the day we, we are doing this meeting, Dr. Wosik, and then we, ha I think after the general council, the time we were attacked, I said so then that we cannot take this blame. Three days after the general council, this was done a month, about a, one month, some weeks ago, to be honest with you. So the time we do, uh, we, ha we, uh, we have that meeting, Diba was there, Sirif was there, Dr. was absent, because I think they said that whether he ate something, that was disturbing him. So he have not been coming for two days. But uh, I think the, I will take the blame. Uh, inshallah, uh, we will take the report from Sirif. We will give it to the doctor. The doctor will present it now. As far as Sirif is no more the finance director, the doctor is the finance director. Sirif was just acting. Now, the doctor will present it here. Whenever we don't understand anything, Sirif will come and then rectify it. So, sorry for our apologies, please, huh? doctor. And please also, I want CEO, CEO, you to you should be part of the process. Because, yes, but what I'm saying, all of these people are under the CEO. So doctor should demand this from the deputy. CEO should demand it from doctor. Because by right, CEO is the principal. He's the principal officer. And he's the one who is accountable to this body. Not even doctor. The assumption is all of these directors are under him. You know, so I want him also to be part of this process to make sure it's a proper presentation. There's going to be good things, there's going to be bad things, there's going to be adverse things, but it's the nature of finance. And our job is to correct, to caution, to make sure things are done properly. But I think maybe the mindset of many is that Lee witch hunter or they are after somebody. No, it's just make sure things are done properly. That's it. Yes, you put down. Yeah, exactly, Mayor. That's uh, where I want to come in. Um, you know, KMC, we, there is a culture that um, um, if, even if you ask for something, they think that, you know, you are witch hunting people or doing something. Look, me, as far as I'm concerned, how many people do I call here after work? Only few. So my interest is not personal. The only interest I have is the council. So, and, 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 and finance committee, I think, you know, uh, um, um, uh, we need to remind you, section 36 of the local government act, a finance committee shall subject to the act and any other enactment be responsible for. Subsection A, review the estimates of its council. Subsection B, considering and making a recommendation on any financial matters to be laid before its council. When this, um, 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 this motion was passed, what finance committee should do? They should put this motion into their agenda item before general council. And discuss it. Look, uh, when councillor bring these things, this um, uh, um, this motion, you review it. You ask them which uh, uh, um, um, the the CEO and the finance director what they should do. You know, 
It's even continue in section, uh, in section D, given in on the review of the financial policy of its council and advising in its council on, a, uh, on, on poli, uh, sorry, on the policy and such of such other function has it is council may delegate or assign on it. So this is not about uh, 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 this is the responsibility of doctor or whatsoever. Let's try to protect the office of every council, even the office of the councillor. This office doesn't belong to, to me. The office belongs to council. And the office is belong to the people. If I am not there, the council, if I am not there, the office will uh, uh, how to call it, the office will go. So we cause we did not cause on the deputy director. We did not cause on anyone. We cause on the office of the uh, how to call it, the CEO. So the, the CEO should make sure that the finance director, if the finance director is on administrative leave, when he resumes, they should make sure he presents. That's why last in that council, I said at that time, doctor was not there. But as far as he resumed work, he should make sure he should take up these things. It's not about individual, or serve no financial person or whatsoever. So please, let's, let's, let's try to put, uh, 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 how to call it, to put ourselves in order and make sure that this is, this is, it's not even helping me as a counselor. It's helping you as an administrator to make sure that you know exactly where are the these attempts. You, don't, you only see papers. You do not see monies and where they spend it. But this will help you as a uh, CEO or finance director. This is where the transactions are. And even, uh, uh, um, uh, I think it's not, open, it's not only the, the administration, but even the projects. The project staff are not here. And, 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 and I told them, this applies to the project director. They, ha they have to come and present these things. So I think such, uh, such things should not repeat itself again. Please. All right. I don't think we should drag this agenda. And, and normally, if you are even producing quarterly financial statement, this doesn't even need you to generate. <laughs> you, just pro pro you just provide first quarter, second quarter. If you are providing, if you are doing normal like companies, quarterly financial statement, when this is asked for, you just say, oh, how are any the first quarter or second quarter? You not them work or generate. So it also means that the work is not going normally. And doctor, that's your department. Thank you.